previously on CJ So Cool. To eat, bro, and I come back and check the cameras. Everything's been tampered with, bro. The freaking party lights is on. Somebody pulling chips through the freaking hallway. Like, what is going on? How did this house become so haunted all of a sudden, bro? Bro, we gotta get the freak out of here. I'm so glad the twins not here. I saw something. She can't go upstairs. <sighs> I don't feel comfortable being at that house. So far today, everything's been a little bit normal. I'm only saying a little bit because I really don't know what I've missed. Trying to watch all the cameras all day is not as easy as it sounds. I'm not like some security guard or something. So anyway, we got a lot to do today and Flo can't go with us to where we're about to go. We about to get our hands and feet done basically. And the only reason why I'm saying she can't go is because I can't hold her with my hands when my hands are getting done. I can't pass it to Lexi because she's getting her hands done and I would never put my dog on the floor with a clipping toenail because she's just gonna eat them all. Anyway, we gonna go there. Hopefully everything stays normal because if we sit anything i mean anything i'm calling the police this time yeah i'm talking about you flo we about to leave so make sure you eat as much as you can okay i'm finna build her spot lexi make sure you tell me if it's good or not because i ain't trying to have it break out as you guys can see i already started building her a little slot ah. bruh she can she can break out of this this is too simple uh she's smarter than that yeah she can't break out of this yeah, we good now. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Well, I don't want nobody breaking in, even getting her. So, kind of like blocking her in and blocking them out at the same time. If a demonic monster could get past all this, then we definitely need more than the police. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Don't you start running. I got you. You gonna be all right here by yourself? Technically, I don't know if you by yourself or not. It might be ghost in here, but. I'm not gonna put you in a cage. I'm just gonna put you over there. She need her water and food, Booski. Help me out, help me out. We're here, our monthly maintenance. Boom. It happened again. I was checking the camera. I saw something. If I wasn't in the middle of this, I would already be calling. I'm kinda stuck right now. Which really sucks. It sucks a whole lot. We are finally finished at the nail salon and I'm scared to go back home because I don't know if there's someone there or if there's some paranormal activity going on and I don't feel comfortable being at that house. So I don't ever want to be there. So I want to keep on doing stuff. Then every time we go out, we hear stuff or see stuff on the ring camera and we can't figure out what it is, who it is. So I don't I don't even know what to do. Maybe it's a, a supporter? Or it took in your house? <laughs> <laughs> Finally got our hands and feet done. Bruh. What? The stick. Look at the chair. What the freak? Where's that going? Bruh, the camera is unplugged, bruh. I swear to God. What the f Oh my God. Flo! What the Flo! Oh my God, bro! Flo! 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 Check the cameras, bro, check the cameras. She can't go upstairs. Flo! Flo! Oh my God, Flo! Flo! What are you doing in there? Flo! Oh my God, bro, we got demons or something. Somebody is playing pranks on us, bro. My heart is racing out of my chest. Someone hear my dog. Flo, Flo, can you tell me what happened? Oh my God, I hate that she can't talk, bro. She can tell us everything. Show us, show us what happened, show us. Flo, what happened, Flo? Bro, I threw this stick in the garbage yesterday. I threw this stick in the garbage yesterday, bro. Flo. What the freak, bruh? What the? Flo cannot do this. She can't do this. She can't do this. Bruh. What the freak? He my dog. Come here, Flo. Come here, Flo. She's scared of humans now. She's scared of us now. Someone did something, bruh. The freak. Come here, Flo. Come to daddy. Oh, baby girl. See, we can't go get our hands done, bruh. We gotta go get mom to babysit. Mom will have to babysit from now on. I had to grab the camera because when I woke up this morning, look, I literally still, I just got out of bed. I have no clothes on. 
there's glass everywhere. Now, if y'all know me, you know I don't like to clean, and this is for real. Like, this is for real. I swear on my life there's some paranormal activity going on because what the hell? Granted, I didn't clean that up last night and I left the steak plate right there. I was cooking and doing a video, but what in the flying is going on and I know CJ told me something last night he's like did you hear that but I was so tired and our alarms were on so like we didn't think anyone broke in the house but he heard a loud noise and you guys know I don't like to clean so this is not a freaking joke I hate to clean I hate cleaning up you think I want to clean this up there is something going on in this house I'm literally shaking and I want to get the freak out of here like this is not okay look at this look at all this glass everywhere like, what in the hell is going on? I don't know, look at this. Do we need to go get like, I don't even know. How do you get paranormal activity out of your house? How do you do that? Please, someone help me. How do you do that? I hate ghosts, I hate clowns, I hate scary shit, and this is all happening. I want to go home. Out of all the times in the world to be having all this crazy stuff happen, I have to go to court tomorrow. The worst part of my life going to court nobody likes to go to court i don't care if you're taking somebody to court to sue them or if you're being taken to court or if you're just going to court no one likes court unless it's the basketball court or tennis court other than that you don't like court so i have to go to court tomorrow which means i have to leave my house unattended well lexi should be here unless she's too scared to be here she probably go home because she don't even want to be here which also means i ain't going to be able to be on my phone watching the cameras which means anything can freaking happen last time we left y'all saw what freaking happened we came back home from getting our hands and feet done and my house was trashed and my dog was misplaced. It was the craziest feeling I've ever went through in my life. How did the chair get on top of the freaking globe? And how did the decorator thing get on top of the couch? Like what the heck is going on? How did my dog get the freak out while I was getting my hands and feet done? And you know what? I couldn't watch the camera because the lady kept saying, can you put your hands back in? Can you put your hands back in? I had the biggest attitude ever while getting my hands done and feet done. And I've never had an attitude while getting my hands and feet done. This is the first time and the only reason was because I knew something was happening in my house and I couldn't see it. Anyway, now that I gotta go to court and I let you guys in on that, hopefully my house is protected. Hopefully I'm also protected because I don't know if this thing is following me or not. It could be following me everywhere I freaking go. It might even end up in court. Thank God you cooked this beautiful meal. What the heck? I would have never imagined you cooking this today, especially since we have ghosts haunting us or something. But thank God, me and you got this flow. Come on, let's go home over here and eat. Come on. You know what the time it is. You know what the time it is. Psych, gotcha. Ain't nothing for you. Ain't no eggs, ain't no dog food, ain't no snacks, ain't none of that. You got attitude? You got attitude? Ah, <laughs> uh, you ain't getting none of my food. Get your butt down. Get your butt down, girl. I say get your butt down. Get your butt down. Ow. Ow, what the? You acting like a little baby Godzilla. Ow. Gotcha. I hate bugs, but CJ just noticed this, so I'm gonna get a little closer, and then I'm gonna get the f out of this house. What the? It's a daddy long leg. So now we have spirits and bugs. Ew. Can you There's just kill it? Hell no, I've never in my life killed a spider. Oh, oh, oh look, it's Thank huge. You Let me zoom in on it. I'm not getting any closer. Oh my. Ew. That just looks like ew. What's you know going why on? it's in here? Because you have the door wide open. No, that's not why. That is why. No. When you're cooking, you have the door wide open. You think it just came in right there? That is how it came in. Ew, it it's a flying it spider. It's like the spirit you let in. You gotta stop leaving the door wide open. Spirit? Mm -hmm. The only spirit I have is angelic, so I don't know. That is so, can you kill it? Can I eat first? No. What if it smells my good Love, cooking? You hear this? <laughs> what if it smells like good cooking and then decides to, this is the first time CJ and I are sitting at the dinner table together. That's a lot. For, okay, the first time in a minute. We just sat here last night. I sat in this exact same spot. Oh yeah, right I sat here. right here. For the first time in a minute. It's not, better not be mine. No. You're so predictable. You are so predictable. You could take that cheap way. shoe and throw it away That's after, thank you. Don't trip. I don't want the water to be dirty. His name is Bug, cause he's bugging. 
Is this, bro, this is a part of the, uh... That's the cleaning product. <laughs> this is a part of the Bible. This says, thou shalt not kill. Now, here I am about to kill uh, I don't think the Heavenly Father would care because that looks like it could bite, so. <laughs> Ew, it's in the shoe, I bet. Throw that uh. ish away. Let's see his... See, it's like a cockroach had s with a spider. Mm. You see it? <gasps> It's like a demon came in the wrong house and got killed. Mm. Sucks to suck. Mm. Okay, throw it away. And please. there's no cleanup duty. Nope, just throw that away. Thank That's you. because I cleaned the shoe first. See? Okay. No, I'll save the shoe for you. No, no, it's okay. Well, guys, court went extremely great. And honestly, I think it's our last time actually having to appear. The next time we go to court, it'll be on the computer where we hear the final ruling of this whole custody battle case that I created. Because if you don't know, I'm the one that took us to court. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that because today is my birthday. Yeah, I turned 25 years old today, man. Actually, I'm 10 years older than that. But I'm going to still say I'm 25 because you know what? In my comment section, I saw the nicest person in the world. They said, no matter what, I just seem to never age. So they said I look like I'm 25, I'm going with that. I believe them. They are right, they ain't never told a lie. One thing that never gets old either is the kids riding their bikes around scaring the living crap out of me because my dog is in here. Come on, Flo, make sure you don't get hit. You gotta go with the flow. Go with the flow. You having fun, CJ? Driving with one hand. I'm protect you, baby. Driving with one hand, boy. I see you, girl. So we got Mimi as a babysitter so I can go and enjoy my birthday finally since the whole day has been dedicated to you and your brother and you, your little sister. But now we have Savior here. Thank you so much for coming, Mimi. CJ, how you doing, man? Spidey all out. You got Spidey bike, Spidey lunchbox, Spidey hat, Spidey costume. Bro, you Spidey the freak out. And you got peanut butter cookies. Try it out, damn. I like you. Mmm, <laughs> lemon yeah. chocolate. You ate the middle first? Bro, y'all are definitely twins. It's the king's birthday. CJ's so cool. We got the private room. Surprise. Lexi put it together. You know what's going down for our man. What's up, man? What's up, my boy? Happy birthday. Thank you, man. My boy, Zach. What you doing? How are you? So no one told me this, huh? <laughs> I just was with y'all yesterday. I was just texting you yesterday. I didn't even text you. I was text last night, baby. I don't like the prize. <laughs> Look, it's a controlled environment. It is. You know what I mean? Just yeah. your loved ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, that's crazy. So, Lonzy, this is why you ask me if I like chocolate or strawberry. I mean, you know, you hear Lonzie, from music. Lonzy always tried to help me on my birthday for some reason. Got this you. Is, you hear you I'm so hungry. I haven't, I haven't even ate. I hear me playing, but I have no energy. <laughs> I woke up at six with the twins and just been chasing them all day. I didn't know nothing was happening, actually. Man. So what we gonna do now? <laughs> so about you? Oh, who even knew this is even a thing? Lexi I, puts I, together. I, this is a secret room in the Gucci store yeah. in Las Vegas. I mean, I didn't even see nothing like it. You know what wow. I mean? It's just it's the first King. Hey, you birthday. want Gucci? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If right. I would have knew, I would have wanted. He just went shopping, bro. Oh, he just got it. I came in from a meeting and it's oh like, my. I just want you know what I mean? Put the Gucci. You even got you? Well, I didn't even see you right there, my What's boy. Up, bro? I haven't Happy seen you since bro. like New Year's one time, man. Thanks. I didn't. I didn't turn 35 today. I didn't expect this. And this is probably the best surprise I ever got. Because when you don't expect something and then you get something, it has to be better than nothing. So this is this is really cool. And Chop's right. This is Gucci store, so that's crazy, man. Perfect thing. 1942 for a 35 year old man. Actually, I'm 25 today, but I just said I'm 35. I don't know why. Naya got you. Naya? I got you the same thing you got me. <laughs> he had to throw that in there. Well, I've been giving you since giving been giving. What? Oh my God, the most viral man in the <laughs> You know who he is? He's Mr. Sparkles and Champagne. 
Bobby Bobby bottles. Sparkling and champagne. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sparkling champagne. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> what the freak? Okay, let me put the liquor down. Wow. Amazing. To honor you. Wow. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Sparkles and champagne. Sparkles and champagne. <laughs> that is crazy. I should have put that on Instagram because he's very viral right there for sure. For sure. He's viral. So you did this? Yeah. You take all my friends? Yeah. You got all their numbers? Yeah. 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 That's really cool, man. All you guys are crazy, man. Lonzi and me put it together. It was a super surprise, and I'm good at hiding stuff. So he he didn't even know. Wow. He had no idea. Champagne. Champagne. <laughs> so we, we have to give it to him. That's uh, right. Uh, what do you say? I'll be popping bottles. What do you say? Oh, sparkles and champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get his own line, man. <laughs> And Obama. Obama, oh yes. Yeah. Is that right? Definitely put me up there with Obama. So they've done this for Obama, Trump, and CJ, so cool, wow. You know what else? Gucci brought their whole store to my house once, Lonzi, made yes, them do did. it. And they told me they only did that for Elton John, and I didn't know who that was, so I looked them up, and I'm like, okay. Elton John's super rich, right? <laughs> I don't know why they did this for me. <laughs> so Chuck got me this Gucci gift? That's right. I can open this? Yeah, baby, let's go. Let me taste it. Can we take a yeah, toast for yeah, yeah. to be there? Toast for to be there. <laughs> this is cool, man. This is just the gift that keeps on just giving every second. I was, see what Lonzi was just like, so you don't have nothing planned for your brother? I'm like, no, I got my kids. I have no energy because I woke up at 6 a.m. with my dog and my twins and they've been playing with me so much. And then she's just like, can you open the door? And I'm like, whatever. I just open the door. Surprise! Never in my life have I had that surprise. So. Damn. That was cool. Have you ever had something like that? Just once. I actually, uh, if this wasn't at Gucci, I probably would have pulled out a gun. Like, whoa, what the freak on? I thought it was a little setup, but uh, this is so cool, man. I gotta admit, my name is CJ So Cool, so it's so ironic that something so cool happens today on my 35th birthday. You couldn't fit the balloons in there? So cool. Like these letters, everything was punched up. Oh. I came here earlier, joke down. Wow. That's what your mom was talking about. She said, Lex has been going all day. We're back and forth, running errands. I'm like, my birthday is on Good Friday? Is that a good thing? Or? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds so cool on a good day. Yeah. Good Friday. Good Friday. So cool. His birthday is on a Good Friday in a Gucci store. Kevin's right. Kevin, you're right. So I'm 35 now. And if you look around the room, everyone older than me has a similar thing that I might have to transition to. Mom, <laughs> am I going bald? No, no, look how his hair is. I, I was talking about cutting it though. I want to cut my hair. No. I want to join the club, man. Hair is overrated. Hair is overrated. Tell. Hair's I'm going Michael Jordan on him, man. I'm cutting my hair today. Enjoy it while you got it, baby. Enjoy it while you got it. Enjoy it in the bag. I will put my hair in the bag and I always look at it and say, that used to be me. Nah, you need to get one of the fake bald heads, bro. Is this a thing? <laughs> yeah, you see what the bald heads. Caps. I'm gonna get a bald cap, fake bald head, see how I look. If I like it, I'm transitioning to the bald head. It's gonna be all three of us. Don't worry about us today. Freak! Now I have to come harder! That's what you might not know about CJ, is that immediately he starts thinking about others. I know how he is. And I know as soon as he walks in, he's like, how do I live in the room? How do I make them feel good? Now this is his day. We gotta make him feel good. CJ's birthday, watch out. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Well, we all drink. We all Happy drink. Birthday, Happy birthday, CJ. Happy birthday. Come on, let's get in there. I love everyone in this room. I appreciate you guys for spending my birthday with me. <laughs> and hopefully, we can keep doing this every year because this is lit. We could do this again, like. You sure can. You already know. <laughs> well, we can toast to that. CJ, we love you. Thanks for coming. Everybody. And it's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tastes just yeah. like my most expensive gift ever. No. Well, first round shot. Oh, you heard what my brother got me. Oh. I got this. Lonzo didn't tell you that. You don't have that. I swear to God, I have this. I'm show. about to check your profile. You don't have to. I have it. But here's, but here's what we said before Thank you got it. I'm aware is that anyway. you? you no, know, is that you train it for what you want? Oh, okay. You're in the spot. I've never so you, anything. No, she's here. She already said. So I said, what if he already has it? I've never taken anything back. You're already here. I haven't taken it yet, but I opened it. Can you please check my profile? Because that's where I wore this shirt before. I love it. This just means that Chop knows my style, too, by the way. If I got this shirt and he got it for me, that means he's like, CJ will like this. And he's definitely right. I have every color with this. Because this is my favorite shirt. Fresh. Super fresh. With the embroidered double G's on it, man. You know, it's Good Friday. I am a G, the top G. Come on, man. And, uh, and you are at the Gucci store. I am at the Gucci store. Another G. Let's just add up the G's, man. 
Do we got knives? Oh, oh we, we got we got candles? Oh, no, no, they overly prepared. Let's do this. Let's do this. What kind of bracelet you got on? What kind of bracelet? Oh, Gucci? Just okay. a Gucci bracelet. Okay. Okay. No, just a little I'll Gucci check. links. Oh, just a little Gucci link. No, chop the jewelry. just checking everything. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing, man. I'm all sweaty. I got hot flashes. Is that a 35 thing? I never had that before. I got it like right here, a little hotness. You got a tall hunk. No, I don't do it. He got taller and older in the face. What the? What's up? He said, what's up? <laughs> Thank you, Enzo, man. I appreciate that. You're definitely getting older. He's going to be taller than you. <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah. That's not crazy. crazy. He used to be little, little. Bro. He used to be yeah. little guy. Yeah, he's been in the gym. Why are you so hot? Yep. Oh, See, Andy, you know how stiff I used to be. I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Enzo, Enzo, when have you ever seen somebody have their own private hidden room? I didn't even know it was a thing. Lexi hooked it up. Where did he come from? Huh? Oh, he was coming from the gym. Yeah. You just walked in from there from the gym? Yeah, he just slid, oh. slid in. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, this is, I don't know what else I can expect. I don't even, I didn't even want anything today. I just was like, I got my kids. That's all I cared about. But now it's like, okay. I gotta start thinking for myself how I can turn up now. <laughs> See, when you don't want, that's when you get. Yeah. Wow. You know Did you just hear that? Because I haven't wanted anything, I ended up getting way more than I could have got anyway. That's cool. Because going to the club is, I was telling Lonzi, I've been doing this so many times, I'm 35, so I went to the club, the strip club, Miami, the yachts, I did every single thing you could possibly do. And every time I'm done, I just at home like, ah, it's over. And that's why I was like, this year, I don't care if I do anything or not, because it's just going to be over anyway tomorrow, so. But now we're here, and I'm feeling super happy, man. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear C. Boys, you're going to melt one up. Okay, we know. Happy birthday to you. My only wish is to be richer than I already am. <laughs> Whoa, that was lit. So that was 36 candles. I'm 35, but apparently she said that extra one is for luck. Okay, so I saw this thing on TikTok where if you take these, turn them around, you can cut the cake perfectly and not only cut it, but pull it out. See, most of you don't understand when you cut a cake, that's just the beginning. Now you gotta get it out and it starts to break and all that. So this, um, I think this little gadget will help solve that issue. Lexi live. this is not the tool. I'm telling you, the tool is sharp. Yeah, no, because these here, it's real sharp on that one you're talking about. Yes. Not yeah, hollow But like that's that. when you buy it, but this is what they say. This is like a this replacement. Is a one. No. You do it. But it's going to ruin the cake. Yeah. It's going to smash all, it. I bought a cake like a, cutter, and they have knife. one. So we don't okay. have to do it. <laughs> oh, that's and a then tall you carry cake. it out like this. Yes. See, it's still too fat. That's too fat. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't bake sweets. You I need just the one cook. With the, uh, that's it. Wait, yeah. Wait what that? That? yeah, with the sharp she edges on. No, I can't. No, no, no. It's I all good. I told her not to use that. Yeah, yeah, just stick it underneath it. Here, we have the spatula. Where is the cake cutter? Where's the. Um... Oh, okay. Perfect. perfect. It was perfect, perfect. until you just did a smash. <laughs> smash and grab on it. Okay. Smash and pass. I chose chocolate because I had no idea why you were asking me that. I don't even like chocolate. I just like, what the, f no, no, I swear, I was just like, what the freak, Lonzo just randomly texted me for the first time in a long time, and she just said chocolate or vanilla, I'm just like, chocolate, I don't know, I'm black, <laughs> and now we have a chocolate cake, <laughs> where's the forks, I know y'all have some Gucci forks, don't be holding now, now, y'all didn't already brought all this other stuff out, mmm, ah. have you ever drank a bottle in the Gucci store? We're breaking every record today. Cause I be popping bottles. Uh, sparkles and champagne. There we go, there we go. I have to show him himself on video so he can remember. Okay, who, whose idea was it to get the baby forks? There ain't no babies around here. My finger's bigger than this thing. <sighs> Seriously, Andy? Happy birthday. Who bought these forks? What the fork? Is this a break? <laughs> That's for charcuterie. 
Okay, well, do we have cake? Oh, bro. Okay. Okay, no. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just had to do something crazy. I feel like Sherman Clump of the uh, Nutty Professor when he was, when he was dreaming. He was super big and he ate that little piece of chicken out that girl's window. He's like. <laughs> then he farted and blew the whole world up. That was my favorite movie. Lexi never saw that either. How's your cake? It's actually delicious. I'm not gonna lie. The red part, you know, never eat the red part. I don't taste good. The cake, soft, moist, very chocolatey, and delicious. And I haven't eaten. Oh, mm -mm. Mm. I can't believe I'm 35. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. I'm 35, but how old do I look? Uh, 21. My man, you heard it here. Damn. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time. I had to bring out the birthday dab. Forget this fork. Mm. Order you a burger or? So apparently we just found out something new. They have a Gucci <laughs> restaurant. She's gonna order me some food from. Burger on demand. Let's open it up. Here we go. Oh, what kind of bread is this? Ciabatta bread? You guys are too exquisite. I've never had a burger from Gucci, but this is what it looks like. This is Angus or Wagyu? She's not the chef, she doesn't know. <laughs> is there ketchup? Oh. You know, I'm not gonna put no ketchup, I'm gonna get it as is, Gucci style. Mmm. You saw that cheese? Mmm. 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 Fuck. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna eat this in proper. Man, I still can't believe this happened, and especially because I was about to leave and I almost forgot my gift from Chop, a Gucci gift. What is that? There's another one. What the? <laughs> this is the new Gucci packaging. Whoa. Let's see the green. This is the new Gucci. Wow. There you go. So you just gave me something else? Some <laughs> shoes? Dude, I gotta see this. I, I, I ain't leave it without opening this. There's no receipt because I didn't pay. <laughs> <gasps> she, she knows my style because she's literally, I bought everything from her. So are these pants? Oh, these are. What? D. This is definitely lit. Oh, you, no, we gotta hide this from Lexi. She's already been known to steal <laughs> hanger. She was just in a dressing room talking about some. Oh my God, I love this Gucci hanger. Nah, this is this is lit right here. I'm glad Chop gone already. I don't want him to feel like you know his gift's not as important. This is lit. I definitely got caught off guard, but I'm super grateful and super happy that not only did my friends come, but the people that I consider my family actually came to help me celebrate my 35th birthday. But not only did we celebrate it, we did something that has never been done before. And as you guys already know, because we kept saying it, we celebrated in a Gucci store, which is unheard of. And I don't know how many celebrities I know, but ain't none of them ever posted anything like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that we put together for you. It's not over yet. But still, this was the best to come, man. The cake was delicious, the drinks was good, the vibes was off the charts. And even though I didn't plan on spending no money, I'm only, only gonna spend a little bit on Gucci. And then we're gonna go somewhere else and just continue my birthday. But the twins are at home waiting for me, Flo is at home waiting for me. Mimi's probably getting fed up with all the commotion going on with all the three of them. But either way it goes, it's my birthday, and it's all about me, and I'm feeling good right now. So hopefully you guys are commenting right now. Happy birthday, CJ, man. Yes, I'm 25 years old. I come back home to sleep and kids? Wow, Mimi's an amazing babysitter. What the? You can always babysit for me. And you got my dog Flo still looking good and healthy. Hey, baby, it's my birthday. It's your daddy's birthday. It's your daddy's birthday. You know what? Since it's my birthday, today your birthday too. It's our birthday. It's our birthday. Now, we have all this stuff. Chop got me this. Lonzi got me that. Lonzi also got me that cake. And she got me this burger and this. Like it's so much stuff. Wine, you know you like some? No, it's not wine, it's champagne. Oh, it's champagne, champagne, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I got an eight and burger half of it. Meeting, and I was like, I was like, we have something for you. Look at that kind of stuff. I just see you Sunday. I'm like, you're so Yeah, that was mean. crazy. She was like, I don't need to see you today. Anyway, Lexi's grandmother, Mimi's mom, has the exact same birthday as me. So both of our birthdays are today. That's really crazy, mind blowing. Shout out to everybody that came. I'm very excited that my brother came, his wife came, Chop came, he brought his son and his security guard, Z, I love all of them. Kevin came, Marie came, Andy came, Zach came. Like, that was so crazy. And of course, Lonzie helped put it all together with Lexi behind my back. And it seems like everyone I know, I can't trust because how is all of them going behind my back, planning stuff without 
without me. At least give me a little heads up so I can be even more prepared because honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know what I was walking into, but I do know that that's the Gucci store that I was in and I was just shocked like, what are we doing here? Are you taking me to shop on my birthday with my money? I was confused and a little bit like, and I don't know, I was irritated. I was walking in like, and then Lonzy's like, open the door. And then I opened the curtains and they're like, surprise! Now I'm black. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I ain't never had no one do anything like that for me. But if you black and you have, make sure you comment down below. But I gotta admit, that was the widest thing you've ever done and I love it. I appreciate that. Cause I'm just saying like, I've never even done that for nobody. As many things as I've done for people, I've never secretly planned a party for them. Yeah, you're very different. But uh, what, did you help her with that? I knew it was your mom's idea. It couldn't have been what? yours. What? Like, did the charcuterie, that's it. The charcuterie was very nice. Yeah. I saw the flower, yeah. rose. Um, your mom made Yeah, they eating it right now at Gucci. Yeah. We left where we couldn't eat and they're like eating it all. So that's a good and thing. Someone had to watch the babies. That's true. And speaking of babies, they are asleep. So that means I am not gonna wake them up. I'm gonna utilize this time to myself and make sure I get to do something. Maybe cut this baby video off and watch a movie or something. But the number one thing I want to mention is we did not see any ghost, anybody lingering, following us or doing anything suspicious. And Mimi didn't tell me anything happened when I got back home. So I guess maybe the ghost is gone or whatever that entity was that was lingering around the house, breaking all the glass and doing crazy stuff. Because even that night that Lexi heard something and came in here and apparently it was broken glass. That that was like so scary to me. I didn't even get out the bed. Like that was really, really weird. And a lot of things that was happening in this house was weird. And I, I actually want to move. I still want to move. Even though I'm still here, I just want to move. But I'm going to end this video right now because you guys have had enough and I'm pretty sure you're excited for me. Make sure, I'm going to keep saying it. Make sure you comment. Happy birthday. See, this so cool all month. Wait, the month's almost over. Hey, happy Easter, man. <sighs> I couldn't wait to get home to prove myself right. And for those of you on Instagram and Snap, yes, I had on a whole different outfit earlier, but I changed. Okay, now, this is the shirt my bestest of best friends Chop got me, and I told him in his face, I got that shirt already, so you know my style because I have that shirt already. This shirt was, how much? It was, it doesn't have the price tag on it, but it's a pretty penny. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have the price tag on it, but uh, these shirts probably like anywhere from 1200 and what do you know? I don't even have to go through my closet. I went straight to the section and there it is. So, what the? <laughs> okay, so one is baby blue and one is navy blue. <laughs> but there's no way possible that I'm gonna have this shirt already and then get this one that looks so much alike and then wear them both. Like, it just doesn't work like that. But, I mean, I guess Lindsay was right. This is the newer version because as you can see, this is a lighter red and a lighter blue. This is a darker red and a darker blue. The lines right here are closer to the red, unlike these, which has the white separation in the middle. But hey, I was close enough. I mean, so I guess I was wrong. I don't have the shirt, but I have a exact same twin of a shirt. And Lonzy, she said that I only had this white one. So somewhere down the Gucci line, they have forgot to update my profile. And now I, I don't want to double buy anything. So they need to get on top of that. Look at all these Gucci shirts. They're all similar. I, I do love this style. This is my style. I told Chop I wasn't lying. This is what I like. And uh, yeah, I never, wear, I never wear these shirts. I have them all here just ready, but I don't wear them. And it's probably because they're not outdated, but they just, this the old me. I don't even really dress up no more. I really just be comfortable as possible. And I, this isn't as comfortable as it looks. I mean, these are good material clothes and they do look good on me, but they're all fitted and I gotta be all stiff and I can't have flow cause she might pee on me and white boo-boo on me and CJ and Dale might spill some candy on me. It's just like, I can't be dressed up as much as I used to be when I didn't have all these kids. But uh, yeah, man, I'm grateful for the shirt. I'ma keep it. I'm not gonna even text Chop. I actually, I'ma text him a picture of the shirt and say, you got me a shirt that's very similar to the one that I had. That's what I was talking about. But thank you for the gift because I actually like it and I'm gonna keep it. Whether I wear my stuff or not, I do keep it. A lot of these stuff like, let's look up here. For instance, I've had these shoes since Urban Necessities was inside the Boulevard Mall. Y'all don't probably know what that is, but like for instance, look at this tag. They don't do this anymore. This is the old Urban Necessities. Um, it doesn't have a year on there, freak. But these shoes are super, super duper old, bro. Like these shoes came out in 2010. These shoes are 14 years old and I still never worn them, not once. So I have a lot of stuff like this that I just don't touch. And I got it because I liked it, but I just never end up wearing it. Like, look at these. I ain't never wore these. They ain't never been laced. 
what the freak, man? So I'm just like, I'm not the same person anymore where I just buy a bunch of random stuff just to have it. I don't like doing it anymore. I'd rather keep my money in my bank account so that if anyone's saying, oh, he's broke, then they can say that because I have my money in my bank account. But if someone's saying he's broke because I'm shopping every day, that's a totally different thing.